Oh, hey, Terry Caliendo, dedicated managers. You ever experience a error message that is so profoundly bad that it offends you and makes you angry? Recently, I was installing Microsoft Office 2019 for a local nonprofit using the Microsoft Office deployment tool. And in doing so, I came across an error message due to a small misconfiguration on my part that the error message had nothing to do with the misconfiguration I had created. So um, I wanted to release this video. This video is actually a small piece of a larger video that I'll put in the uh, a link to in the description. But uh, this, this little chunk is more relevant to the, the, the world at large. So if you come across this error message, hopefully I can help solve it with what's happening to me or what happened to me and how I solved it. So without further ado, uh, here comes the video. Afterwards, maybe we can get together and um, talk about trauma and, and create a, an informed group of experienced peers that uh, support each other in bad error message trauma. See you at the end of the video. See you in the video. Here we go. So I'm going back to that machine here. So I'm just going to click up here. This is a cool little trick. I didn't know you could do this. It opens a command prompt in, in the directory. That's what I didn't know is that it could open in that directory. So if I type dir, I'm seeing the files uh, setup.exe and configuration.xml. Now this is where the problem occurs is that I've added this extra .xml without realizing it, um, configuration.xml.xml. So when I copy their uh, setup code, they want us to take this line here and I'm going to copy it and they want us to paste that into here, then I'm going to right click and that automatically pastes it in this window here. So now if I try and run this, I'm going to get this weird error that this is where it took me 45 minutes to figure out what was happening. We're sorry we had a problem installing your office program. Is your internet connection working? Do you have enough free space on your hard drive? This, this, has, this makes no sense because it's a brand new computer with a giant hard drive and my internet connection is obviously working because I'm working remotely over the internet. So what it is, is it's a terrible error message that's saying I can't find the configuration file. And that's because uh, the, the configuration file I'm trying to load is not the right configuration file. I'm trying to load this, but the real file name has an extra XML on it. So I either need to rename this to, re to remove the XML or just correct the, um, the, the name of the file to be the actual file name. In this case, it's configuration.xml.xml. And so now that should work because I'm referring to the correct configuration file, which is this file. Um, so I'm going to hit enter there. And now you're, I'm not going to see anything pop up. I'm not going to see any issues. That's because it's actually silently working. And so this folder here is silently getting filled up um, with download files. And so if I right click and choose properties, um, you'll see that it's, 714, 724 kilobytes. Um, and if I keep doing that, uh, sooner or later, there it is. It's, it's starting to show that something's happening. It's, it just put a file container on there to take up 100 megabytes of space. And um, so I can see that something's happening. It's starting to download. I'll do it one more time. And now we can see, you know, it's, it's chunking 300 megabytes and then saving it to, to, to the actual file. So this is the size on disk it's holding and then it's putting the, downloading the files into there. So you can see this change each time I right click and choose properties that something's happening. And what that's doing is that's downloading Microsoft Office to this computer here. Well, there you have it. A bad error message that had nothing to do with the actual problem, but hopefully that solution that I came up with worked for you. Um, if you have other trauma, feel free to call the hotline no, there's no hotline. But if you need any help with IT support, give us a call over at Dedicated Managers. You can find that phone number on dedicatedmanagers.com, our website. Don't forget to subscribe to future videos. Just click the subscribe button wherever it is, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Thanks for playing. Hopefully um, you can get over your trauma from bad error messages. Maybe we can form a support group if you have your own the trauma from error messages. Throw it in the links below, in the, in the comments below, and let's talk about it. We'll see you in the next video.